I take feedback very personally. I can't really help it. It's how I've always been. So, you know, it's something that I've gotten a lot better at, obviously, but you know, it's still something that, and especially when I'm first getting started and I'm, you know, first putting out this content that I put a lot of time and effort into, you know, the creation of, um, Especially right now, I don't really have templates in place. I'm trying to figure out what works, and then from there, you know, I can kind of template, uh, show segments, and you know, use them within each of the different episodes, and then start tinkering with kind of how everything, the pieces fit together based on what the goal is of the individual episode, and making sure that you know if they're you're putting them together in um, seasons then you know, there's a story arc so to speak and there's actually a um, a payoff um, one thing that Jay Akunza was talking about in a snap class earlier today I believe it was on snapchat his snapchat account he was talking about open loop that he you know instead of giving away everything at the very beginning it's something that I've also heard from John Nastor uh, more than a year ago I guess um, you know it's just inst with uh, his podcast um, and I'm talking about John Nastor here the uh, hack the entrepreneur the way that he writes up his intros and the way that he delivers the intros, he, he uses what Jay Acunzo is talking about here as far as an open loop, so to speak. So he doesn't give everything away. He's trying to you know, in, pique your curiosity, pique your interest to where you're going to um, continue to listen. Because the idea is to keep you for the entirety of each individual story, which is what you know, they're crafting an individual episode as. And that's how I'm approaching it as well well although I'm doing it with video and thus far they have largely only Jay Kunzo and Johnny Naster um, have only focused on um, you know audio as far as the audio podcast whereas I'm focusing on the video and it, I mean I'm not gonna say it's harder but it's because there's definitely some positives and some negatives to it one of the big negatives for me is just having to film my face repeatedly at least as I'm getting started it's not something that's you know extremely comfortable on a day-to-day -day basis um, yeah you know, I like to, I've always liked to joke that I have a face made for radio uh, but um, you know, so that's something to kind of get over or have to deal with when I'm putting together uh, videos and then on top of it I get a lot of the feedback that I get is more production oriented so you know, I don't really I mean I care about production don't get me wrong but at the end of the day I'm testing the message to see what resonates you know and I don't get a whole lot it thus far I haven't gotten a whole lot of feedback specifically about the message you know what's the point what's the you know what's the key thing that i'm what am i talking about basically you know and it's it's really about getting people started online with their business as far as you know understanding where to start understanding you know all of the other stuff that you can go through you can spend time on but it's a waste of time and it's a waste of time especially exacerbated as a negative for your business if you do it to start i can speak from experience i mean over the past 10 years i've basically evaluated pretty much every possible scenario or every scenario i could find within the wordpress ecosystem and then rainmaker platform and you know it it's a case where stepping back from all of that and saying look you know the whole point of everything is to build your own audience so that you can grow your business over the long term now whatever the numbers the size of the numbers they're they're irrelevant it's specific to your unique context i mean for me to have 20 customers that are actually you know buying a premium product and doing it on a month to month or a project by project on an ongoing basis i mean that's that's great money i mean there's profit there there's expansion there there's reinvesting there's paying off some debts i mean there's just so many positives to that whereas for a really big business you know 20 may not move the needle at all 
you know it just depends on the specifics of your unique context and that's one thing that i think you know it's a little bit different from about what i'm doing is i'm coming at everything from a different perspective because my perspective is completely different i mean i'm in the middle of nowhere tech speak wise you know i'm nowhere near san francisco the closest is atlanta and you know i'm three and a half hours or more from there so so part of how i've been controlling the crazy if you will as far as my um inability to ship just focusing on you know constant reworking and editing and trying to you know get it perfect so to speak and in a lot of cases it's not even just getting it trying to get it perfect it's just um probably procrastination in some ways as far as